you spent more time with that bottle of scotch and that, that trumpet than you did with your family. I did all I could to provide for you and your mother. The life of a musician isn't easy. Uh, you know, my mother was the only reason I was able to make it out of Harlem. Oh, and I suppose I had nothing to do with your success. When, when did you have a hand, Pop? Huh? She leaves her socks out. I do not. All the time. Once in a while. In the middle of the living room, in the middle of the kitchen. One time I found one in the bathroom. One time I found one in the backyard. Uh, although I have to say, I was a little more curious and angry that time. Now, what about Are you serious right now? Why don't you just pick up after yourself? They're goddamn socks. Until you've worn them all day. And then they're like little biological weapons. Fucking wonderful. So now you're gonna tell me that I smell. You start the email jobs on our CFS. I'm gonna start treatment. A treatment for what? For cancer. This isn't cancer. You cannot treat her for something she doesn't have. You lose your license. But I can treat her for something she thinks she has. Placebo effect. People have confidence in doctors. They have confidence in diagnoses, confidence in medicine. And sometimes people get a little bit better because they think they will. And it's all we got. Let's go. Karen, please don't mistake this moment for anything other than a gift. This technology, if it works like they say it does, this will be the closest thing to a miracle I've ever seen. What are you saying? Look, he hit you! He it's not like you forgot your birthday or something. It's not his fault. Then okay. whose fault is it? Damn, Beth. You were in child services. You've heard the same crap a million times. How could you let this happen to you? Just shut up, okay? You don't know what it's like. You don't see the whole picture, the, okay? What the fuck is it like? Rejection gets old really quick, Janet. It wasn't easy being the awkward shy kid. I suppose I had a mom and a dad. Sorry about the depressing ass story. No, it's okay, really. <laughs>